Alright, this is another video of Bluefish vs. Diego de la Rosa. He's a Spanish player from the Mud Society. You want to start your fight by buffing up, as usual. And you can see I'm using Wrath of the Prelate again. I do not know this guy. So, I target the enemy captain. See what he's up to. Doesn't appear that he's up to very much right now. But sometimes they'll buff up and that lets you know what kind of fighting school they are. But, he decides to take his time buffing up him once, get all the aggression from his crew, and then start dropping the crew. Backing up against this wall here makes it so that all the crew is in that 180 arc. Now I can start focusing on him, but what you might also notice is in the upper left I've got all those debuffs on me. That's what crew can do to you. You need to be careful about that, because fighting an enemy captain with a bunch of crew, you're going to be severely debuffed. Now you might also notice I left a pistol ear off to the right for the better part of the time while this guy is alive, and that's because I thought he was one of my crew members. Anyway, get crew aggression, start killing them again, blah blah blah, same old story. Now what I might have done better here was to try and stun this guy and then run off. Unfortunately, I still have a uh, crew member alive that would have broken the stun. However, I'll show you what I mean later. Anyway, do my best to kill this guy while I'm severely wounded. But, not gonna happen this time. So, use the opportunity when you're respawning to get all your buffs and toolbars in order. Buff up. Notice I'm trying to stay out of combat as long as I can until I get Unbreakable up. And then start killing the crew again. If you hide behind the mask there, it will sometimes force the ranged attackers to come to you because you'll block their line of sight with that mask. So I probably could have refreshed Fortitude or Pop Perfect Dodge or something like that here to help my guard regen, but it's just crew, so crew alone probably isn't going to drop you all your health. Killing crew, la da da. Now I'm at very low health right here, so. I'm going to try and kill this crew member as fast as I can. Now, any, any good player here probably would have uh, killed me right away, but I also kind of lucked out a little bit. Waiting on some initiative. Maybe gut kick, but I get enough initiative back that I can just hit him with sudden strike. Notice I'm bleeding at very low health, but I can use combat medicine to stop that bleed until I can get to a better point. Now, when I say stun them, run away, and heal, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If I was not trying to actually demonstrate that in this video, I probably would have just died and respawned because it's not any big deal and I don't generally like to kite people around. Anyway, that's about it for this video. He's a fencer, as you can see, even at low health and low guard, they're just not a big issue at this point in time. But, even if they are a fencer and at a severe disadvantage, it's always good to end a fight with a tip hat.